Hello, fellow agents. If you want this beautiful looking white ninja outfit and the white katana, and you are a deluxe owner of the game, I'll show you how to do it. Ooh, that was close. So let's go ahead and restart the mission, because I finished it, but I botched it. I actually want to explain a couple of things, and it's going to be a little bit slow, even though this should be like a 30-second video. Let's just drop down right away. Just let, just run right up to him. Don't even wait. Just subdue him. Okay, get that out of the way. Right away, you see that on the ground? Don't even wait. Pick up the key. Pick up his gun. In the unlikely event that you didn't do that, remember that you can always, like, hit circle on a PlayStation controller. You know, when you do that thing, and then you can spam the square button when someone comes around the corner to subdue them, even if you have a lethal weapon in your hand. So go behind you, and go in here. There's a few things that are really important to talk about, because it's kind of still glitched, the game in general. So there's your disguise. Jump back here, pick up the crowbar. Items seem to vanish quite often. There's also a nail on the ground somewhere around here, or on the shelf. Pick up the old rusty nail, because you can use that to pick the lock. Now go ahead and open the crate. You're going to pick up the white katana. But what you'll notice is that your crowbar vanishes. It's broken. Which is why you actually need to pick up that nail so that you can open up the door. I've had it a couple of times where the crowbar didn't break. So I really don't know what the heck is going on to be honest with you. Just jump up. Make sure that you have the katana equipped. And literally, just open the door with the rusty knife. You want to make sure that you've got that katana equipped. You can do it that way. You can get all fancy. And then simply escape the mission. And that is level 1. I've already made a video on level 3. They're all quite uniquely different. Now I'm going to show you for level 2. Oof, that one is a little scary. So before we get going, I want to mention that this is something I've done a couple of times now. And it's a little bit weird. There's just weird things about this. When you pick up that katana, you're going to have 20 seconds in between each kill. So you're going to have to go like on a rampage. Still pick up a gun in case things get hectic and you're in a room with like two or three people. You can shoot them with another weapon and kill them. It just won't count towards the 20 seconds because Frostmourne hungers. It says the blade hungers, which is probably a reference to World of Warcraft. Maybe it isn't from the Lich King. Just kind of like run... You can take a good couple of hits. You're going to have to, on your own, sort of, like, watch your timer. Watch your health if you've been shot too many times. Sometimes you might have to, like, take cover momentarily. That might be, like, in your best interest, interest to do that. If you've got that shortcut open, you can uh, naturally grab the shotgun. Again, this could play out differently if there's too many of them all over the place. You might have to seek cover quickly. See, like over here, I'm starting to cut it close, getting a lot of shots taken. So I've got, I've got enough time to recover. Kind of catch a breath. I got plenty of time. I should be recovered now. I can run in. It might take you a couple of times to do this. I mean, you can grab the shotguns here if you want. Just make sure you still have the sword. Uh, you can actually... I screwed up. You can run through here.
Remember, you only got 20 seconds run through here again. Now, this next part can be really tricky. Watch for that guy to walk away, the guy that's on the right, so that you kill him alone. Kind of do it like that, if you know what I mean. Sort of like, be careful. Because it can get really, really haywire here. And if it does, just use your gun. I'm kind of like lucky right now how this actually played out. It's probably not going to play out like this for you, depending on how the enemies are aligned. Make sure you got your sword equipped. Now, the last time I came here, it automatically failed. As soon as I exited the door, I think it was glitched. As soon as I exited the door, it was done. So, pull out your sniper rifle. Right? Use your hitman senses. See that little box on the right of the door? Go ahead and shoot that door. The chain here, you can't jump off here. Hey, it's going to be like, hey, what's going on? These alternate from left to right, left to right. So the next one's going to be on your right. So go ahead and eliminate them. Automatically, the chain will come down. I guess we don't need to, to crouch anymore. And that's how you do that. So this is a little bit of an odd level. I've done this now a couple of times, and it just it never quite plays out the same way twice. Which is why I was very hesitant to make a video on it. But I was kind of hoping that this was still going to give you an idea as to how it plays out. And if a noob like me can do it, I mean, you can definitely do it. And that's uh, level two. Arguably, I had a lot more issues doing the second part than I did the last part. I found the last part, like, really easy. I mean, it was just... It didn't give me a problem. But that second part definitely did. Anyhow, if you liked the video and this helped you out a little bit, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It greatly helps support the channel with the algorithm and making me more relevant in the search results when people are looking shit up on the internet. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. You see that picture right there? That's going to be you. Exactly. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that would be greatly appreciated. But if not, you know what? That's okay. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.